Late Friday morning outside the Hollywood Fred Meyer, a picket line of employees fed up over wages and benefits they say aren't competitive. What we have here is an unfair labor practice strike. We have members at this corner, at that corner, and at every other entrance we can find. Miles Ashaya of United Food and Commercial Workers Local 555 says Fred Meyer and QFC workers walked off the job at 6 a.m. Do you know how many walked off the job? I don't know that off the top of my head right now. This strike affects 7,000 plus members though. Those thousands of members, Ashaya says, have been working through a pandemic and deserve better compensation, as well as support from the community. We would strongly urge the community to not cross our picket line. You can shop at Safeways, you can shop at Albertsons, those are union all in the whole state of Oregon. But you know what? Do not cross a line. The top brass at Fred Meyer and QFC are calling the decision to strike reckless. They say they're proposing a $36 million investment in additional wages and $30 million in annual contributions for health care benefits. My heart breaks for our associates right now because this disruption by the union really is coming at the worst time of the year. Uh, our associates and their families need their paychecks. This is a time that um, it's hard on everyone, and I can only imagine the anxiety and the stress this is causing um, each of them. So we want to get everyone back to work. Uh, quite a few did show up for work today, and, and we are open. Back at the Hollywood Fred Meyer, I walked past the picketers to get a look inside the store. It was business as usual. Checkout lanes were open, and staffers were stocking shelves. There were also plenty of customers. This man was one of them. Uh, getting up to date and supporting unions when they're trying to work for fair wages and fair practices, yes. David Shapiro educated himself about the strike, but only after doing a little shopping. He's now pledging to avoid Fred Meyer stores. I should probably give him a higher wage. That's what I think. These employees think so too. And as you can see, they're willing to fight for it. These members deserve to be paid what, they, what they're owed. All right, you may be wondering how long this strike will last. We're told it will end at 12.01 a.m. Christmas Eve morning. That's unless a deal is struck before then. But as it stands right now, there are no new bargaining sessions on the calendar. Reporting in Northwest Portland, I'm Mike Benner for KGW News.